Hello everybody, my name is Dominique Bearing. Welcome back to Wise Up Gaming. Today we're going to be playing some more To The Moon. I would have opened up on the opening scene, but I was stupid and hit begin. I had about five heart attacks during the opening sequence, hoping it was going to restart me from the beginning. <sighs> but we survived. And we got a, we got a save file back at least. So I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Admittedly. I don't know what the goal is right now. I, it's been a while. It's been a little bit since I've last played. I will admit that. It's only been a li little bit because we've been, like, really busy lately. Went shopping and stuff, so that's been fun. Anyway... You've got to find all the mementos. As usual. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been? I mean, really. What is it about an unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Note. Acrophobia. Let me see that note. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Oh, gee, thanks for that piece of information. Hmm. Over this. Gonna have to look up what that is now. Maybe it was the fear of heights or something. Oh. That's River. Oh, she's pretty. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! You upset her. I think this memory isn't too far from the last. I think they may be connected. Probably. Why can't we walk forward? There we go. Thank you. I know I'd get a. Mo That's the memento. We need one more though. No, I think we got them all though. No, we do need one more. Shit. Where do we find our last memento? River? Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like the long hair. There we go. Time to prepare the memento. And fail miserably. Okay, so the ideal is four. I can do this in four moves. could do this... Yeah, I can do this in four moves. Yay! A smart. And now we get to Activate. It's a backpack. It's a big peak. Whoosh. 
Where are we? Do we have to go all the way back to his childhood? Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it is not possible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at particularly every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River? She never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if she was, if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore, and then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Hmm. Huh. Oh, yeah, exactly. I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Okay, so... This is one of those closed memories. We can't go anywhere, but we can look. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Oh, John. I have a feeling we're gonna wanna be here for this. If anything happens. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. Oh. I loved this when I was young. That's why he has the book. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. Oh man, Animorphs. That was a long time ago I read those. I know. Your mother gave you a book for it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. So... 
John just got scattered. I'm not yours, yours not mine. Be, be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. Why? Okay, so David is uh, yellow, so in my paper of notes, that's not useful to me. Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Okay, that's going to be a thing we need. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talk? What are they talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. <laughs> really? Sort of. Oh, oh. Do you know what animal David's morph is? Um. Oh. Can I just type it in? Oh no. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I can click. That's not it. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. I... <sighs> Fuck's sake. Because this also will fit. Yeah! A cobra! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Okay, so now we gotta find out what the fuck is a memento. I'm guessing the book? The book? Hey, there we go. I wonder if, like, Dr. Rosalind's gonna, like, break down and do something, um, geeky, too, like Neil does. Like, eventually, she'll just do something when she's breaking the memento. Or say something. Okay, the ideal is five. We gotta get this in five moves. Oh, that can be difficult. Okay, let's just click and see what happens. I got it. I got it in six. But I still got it. And I got it pretty quickly, too. One above the ideal. That's pretty good. Oh, we just got a note, too. Activate. So we'll read the note when we land. Where are we now? I'm guessing teenager years or something? Very young adult? Aw, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. <laughs> Don't be too mean. Oh, go save your childish jazz for the insecure. <laughs> Let me guess, is this Neil's favorite? Yep. I see. Le fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> An aged Animorphs book. Okay, so we gotta walk around, we gotta find memento things. Usually it's anything like we're, we're like we're walking around, or it'll be like a little magnifying glass or something. So we've got to go find. Okay, so we can't go that way. So 
got to be someone here we can talk to or hear, listen, interact with, etc., etc. There we go. See? I knew there was going to be more somewhere. This is your wedding night. Then why are you two... going on? River looks pretty. What the fuck? What's happening? Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean? No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. What do you mean I understand? Hey, come with me. Aw, oh, she's so pretty in her little dress and her hair. You can see them talking or kissing or something with the lighthouse light. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. <gasps> They're dancing. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> Ow, my ass! I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. adorable and everything. Oh, it's so cute! To, prom to promise to love to and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love, to comfort, to honor, to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live! Yes. <laughs> By the power of us in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I mean both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image, thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness is joy is really putting you off, too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Whoa. Sheesh, whatever happened, you just take it moment by moment.
Okay, let's go back and maybe we'll see like more mementos or something if we go back while it's during the wedding instead of after the wedding. There probably will be something. We can probably interact or something now. There we go. We need to find two more in the memento. Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, ma'am. All right, ma. Oh, it's mama. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Mock calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ack. Not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. No, Joey. And that was also a memento. Okay, let's look at the notes that we got. Anwar's Johnny's favorite childhood books. Johnny's nickname, a name after his grandfather. Got it. Okay, can we... She's probably going to be the last thing, and then... I'm so proud of Joey. No, you're not? Well, shit. I have no idea who... Okay, so I can't interact with these guys, can't interact with those, can't, can't, can't interact with anything here, which is bad for me. Can we go down at all now? Oh, we can go down now! I didn't know we could. My bad. Once we figure out where the fuck this memento is and we can finally get it, then I'll end the episode. But let's try to find the memento first. Say one of these cars? Do we have to run into? Oh. What happened? It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she be obsessed over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You were the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Is that the memento? Oh, God. Why? 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 I don't want to touch that. I don't want to prepare the dead rabbit! <sighs> okay, DL's three. I see that. Good. At least it didn't show too much, because I wouldn't have been able to deal with that. Yeah, I just activated it. Let's go. You know, it's a fantastic wedding from when the... You know it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Cool story, bruh. More likely not the case. I don't want to see it get run over! I want to know part of this dead rabbit! Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Uh, I'm going to keep you there for a few minutes. And we're going to save... And that'll end this episode. Ooh, it was so cute! I don't know why she would... I don't know what the Sim Jones she has that she's talking about. But I have a feeling that I'm going to learn shortly or soon at some point. 
And I also don't know why she would be obsessed with a rabbit, but again, I have a feeling that's something I'm going to figure out shortly. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. The choice is yours. The link of this is... <laughs> there will be a link in the description below if you guys check out my Patreon. It helps support my channel, my artwork, and my artwork also support this channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>